Hello. Hello. I got news. I'm getting married. Hey. Tell her she's making a huge mistake. Welcome to Las Vegas. I want all of you to get in trouble. Do you guys have drugs? Does Lipitor count? We're gonna party like it's 1959. This is gonna be one sloppy weekend. Is this man's bachelor party? Four Red Bull vodkas. Which one of you is Sam Harris? Well, I just want to say that you guys were really great alongside the Fab Four in that movie. What was it like working with them? Just uh, an unbelievable experience. I mean, you get to work with all four of them at one time. I don't really know too many situations where you could have done that. You know, mm -hmm. this is a very, that that made it unique. Just starting off the process. Then when you actually got to work with them. It was amazing. Yeah, it was a trip. Um, like, uh, in my head, I was like, oh my God, you know, I'm just assuming that there's going to be this thing, and this veil between <laughs> us and them. And we showed up, and they were the most inclusive. They were warm. They were like, they were on us about, hey, man, what's it like to be an entrepreneur? You know what? Or, or they were like, hey, Very did cool. you work with Mary Louise Parker on Weeds, dude? Come on, talk to me. They were like regular <laughs> guys. And there was really, there's no, no hierarchy. Just kind of like, it, they leveled the playing field instantaneously. I think it's a sign of their professionalism. Mm -hmm. And it just made the project better. It made us more comfortable. Open the damn trunk, Sam. Wait, it's a rental. I don't know where the thing is. It's open. Very cool. Did yeah. you guys learn anything or pick up a few skills from them? I taught them a few things. Oh, did you? I, I learned any, no, mine. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Uh, I wouldn't necessarily like it wasn't like a like I learned more along the lines of just I I kind of just witnessed you know and got to just watch that it was reinforcing no matter what level you get to no matter how much success you have because they've argue arguably had more than anyone you could really think of in recent memory it doesn't mean you cha you you change like mm -hmm. they still just worked hard and were on time ready to go and when you roll that camera you, they turned it on they did what they've been doing for a long time at the highest level. Yeah. Yeah, I think I learned a couple of things. One thing is, is you know, the, the, the gratitude that they had was, was a big lesson, but also another thing that I learned was when the cameras stopped rolling, they didn't stop acting. They continued creating. Because a lot of times you'll do a movie, you'll look back and go, oh, I should have done that. Mm -hmm. They eliminate any possibilities of that because they're constantly creating. Okay. Yeah. Well, Jerry, in the movie, your character learns a lesson or two about picking up women. Yeah. So how do you, in real life, pick up women? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. You know, I haven't really done very well at that to this point. Uh, what do you mean by pick up? Like, like, uh, like, what's your best pick up line? How do you approach them? Are you like your character in any way? No, definitely <laughs> not like my character because uh, I've never been good at the approach part. You better stop it. <laughs> you, know, you better stop it. I'm not good at the whole approach. Like, hey, what's going on? You come here. I don't know. <laughs> well, I feel like all those lines are just designed to break the ice and make you laugh at me. <laughs> and then we can have a real conversation. Okay. That's what I feel like if you hear about those stories about pickup lines working. Yeah. I think it only works because you view it as stupid and you laugh at me and then we can actually talk and have a real conversation. Okay. It's an icebreaker. Well, do you go up to women like you would in the movie and say, you're beautiful, I saw you from across the room? No, no, no I've, ne I've never done that. I've never walked up to a woman I did not know and say, hey, you're absolutely beautiful. Okay. What about you? I only approach women when I'm in my car, just in case it gets violent. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't really have an approach thing. Usually, like, I usually end up with women that I was became friends with first. Okay. Just, I don't really have an, you know, I'm just like a, you know, a nerd dude that just kind of, Okay, I lied. I mean, I'm saying you're buying any of this. That's, that's <laughs> yeah. a big right there. I'm yeah. just a nerd dude. Yeah. Okay. Well, if there's one thing in the film that you feel viewers should really uh, take away from it, what would it be? Can I? Please. <laughs> you know, I think that the media can portray people in very interesting ways sometimes. And sometimes you have to kind of, you, you can create a very binary perception of the individual for the sake of the narrative. But in reality, when you get to hang out with these guys, you realize that they're pretty regular, down-to-earth, normal men who like the same things that, you, that, 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 that we like. Okay. And hopefully when you watch this movie, you walk away with, an under, with that type of understanding of these gentlemen. Okay. Well, thank you so much. Yeah. If I want your opinion, I'll just beat it out of you. Sure. No one calls us names except, except for us. It's gonna be popping. I owe you this one. Whoa! Wow! We got a couple of unresolved issues. Oh.
I haven't been this hungover in 30 years. <laughs> Everything's spinning. Mm -hmm.